imagination. Imagination is the window and the door to the universe. The whole world, if without imagination, you don't have a whole lot. Some people say that's all you got. That's imagination. That's all you have. And this is thoughts while thinking. And these opinions are mine and mine alone. And uh, uh, imagination is cre it creates cre critical thinking. And you got to analyze it. You got to look at it. And you got to have the imagination to go from there. And if you want to live longer and be happy and healthy and have a successful life, think positive because that gives you better results than thinking negative ever did. So that's what we got to do. And perhaps a butterfly is a proof that you can go through a darkness and come out and still be beautiful. And think about that because that's what a butterfly does. And turn your wounds and the difficulties into wisdom because they're all learning lessons. Uh, look at them as lessons instead of problems and issues. So uh, that's part of imagination is looking at it in a different way. And it's just my imagination. That's all I have. That's what they say. And uh, uh, you just let it flow and let it go and not, uh, let that imagination run wild. And it'll give you a lot of opportunities. And you learn from yesterday and live today and hope for tomorrow. And that's part of imagination and creative thinking. And that creative thinking is a result of that uh, imagination. And my friend, and, uh, one of my favorite characters is Einstein. And he said he never had a great idea or developed any problems or anything, uh, uh, solved any problems with a logical thinking. He had used creative thinking. He got out of the box. He thought different, and he come up with different ideas. And smart people, they question everything. They question everything from one end to the other, and that's the way they get the answer is they question it. And if you're right and you know you're right, then uh, don't let anybody else get you disturbed and uh, you hang tight because the truth is the truth. And as you know, you are got the truth, well, Stand for it. Stand up, even if you're the majority of one. That's the way it is. Your truth is the truth, and the truth will set you free. And train your mind to see the good in everything. There's a little bit of good in everything, and there may be a little bad in everything, but you look on the good side, and you think about a coin. You've got a heads and a tails, and they're both part of the coin. So you got to choose which side you want to look at. You just can't flip it and then go with the one that turns up. You got to think positive, and thinking positive creates all kinds of ideas and bright th things coming up. Uh, when you open a book or when you turn something on and look at a video or something, it sparks an idea and a little bit of critical thinking. And you cram your head full of those things, and then you pull out the ones that work the best, and you go for it, and you make it something happen out of it. And you put that last puzzle, piece of the puzzle in there, and you got a whole picture, and a whole new picture, a puzzle picture. And you have a brainstorm uh, while you're imagining, and then you go from one end to the other. And that's what causes you to have all those good thoughts and critical thinking and coming up with those innovative ideas and stuff. And it's the thoughts and the emotions and the feelings, and it's all about thinking good and thinking positive. And you keep your eye on that. And uh, all I have, Woody Allen says, all I have is imagination, and I think that's all I have. That may be all you have, too. But so think about that imagination because set it free and let it go and do what you can with what you have and where you are. And that's how you uh, uh, demonstrate that imagination is just let it flow and work. And it causes that creativity. Those creative juices start flowing and you come up with all these ideas and things to make your life more successful and happy of whatever your endeavors are. And it get to that big idea, and that big idea works because you put all that creative thinking in there and you had the solution to the, all of the issues. And the best imagination is a creativity, and the worst of it is uh, anxiety because if you're anxious and have anxiety, you're not being very creative. So be 
keep that uh, negative stuff out and get rid of that anxiety because it's a good world out there. All you got to do is see it. And uh, thinking, uh, creative thinking inspires ideas and ideas that all cause change. And we all have to change a little bit as we go along because that's what it's all about is changing and for the better. And you have a problem, you think about it and you analyze it and you come up with a solution. That's critical thinking. And it all starts with an imagination. And imagination starts when you look at something different. Well, you know, some people may have a little trouble with that, but us dyslexics, uh, we look at anything different anyway. So we come up with some uh, unusual and thinking ideas. But anyway, that's the way it goes. And positive thinking will let you get everything better than negative thinking will. So think about uh, thinking positive then because it'll go better. And Socrates had a method. He didn't have the answers, he said. He said, all I want is my students to learn. And for them to learn, I have to ask them the questions. And he asked the right questions because they, they, he taught them a whole lot. And he's still teaching. After all these uh, hundreds of thousands of years, he's still teaching. And that's creativity. And that's imagination. And that's innovation. And that's ideas and vision. So that's what it all takes. And, and that's where you go. And with imagination, you can travel through the universe. You're not limited to anything on the plane or whatever. The whole universe is there. And you can go in your mind. And, and your mind can take you there real quick. And that's creative thinking. And that's evaluation. And... Uh, you know, imagination is a weapon of construction, mass construction. Now think about that because that's where it all starts and that's where it goes and that's what develops that great life that you want. And thanks for watching and I hope you like this video and maybe you'll subscribe and it's adios amigos and we'll see you on the flip side.